As it's harvest festival season, I thought I would record Diary of a Church Mouse by John Betjeman. Here among long discarded cassocks, damp stools and half-split open hassocks, here where the vicar never looks, I nibble through old service books. Lean and alone I spend my days behind this Church of England bays. I share my dark forgotten room with two oil lamps and half a broom. The cleaner never bothers me, so here I eat my frugal tea. My bread is sawdust mixed with straw. My jam is polished for the floor. Christmas and Easter may be feasts for congregation and for priests, and so may Whitson all the same. They do not fill my meagre frame. For me the only feast at all is autumn's harvest festival, when I can satisfy my want with ears of corn around the font. I climb the eagle's brazen head to burrow through a loaf of bread. I scramble up the pulpit stair and gnaw the marrows hanging there. It is enjoyable to taste these items ere they go to waste. But how annoying when one finds that other mice with pagan minds come into church my food to share, who have no proper business there. Two field mice who have no desire to be baptised invade the choir. A large and most unfriendly rat comes in to see what we are at. He says he thinks there is no God, and yet he comes. It's rather odd. This year he stole a sheaf of wheat. It screened our special preacher's seat. And prosperous mice from fields away come in to hear our organ play, and under the cover of its notes ate through the altar's sheaf of oats. A low church mouse, who thinks that I am too papistical and high, yet somehow doesn't think it wrong to munch through harvest evensong. While I, who starve the whole year through, must share my food with rodents who, except at this time of the year, not once inside the church appear. Within the human world, I know, such goings-on could not be so, for human beings only do what their religion tells them to. They read the Bible every day, and always night and morning pray, and just like me, the good church mouse, worship each week in God's own house. But all the same, it's strange to me how very full the church can be, with people I don't see at all, except at Harvest Festival. A very witty admonition to humans who only go to church on high days and holidays. I've been unable to find when it was published, but as you can see, Harvest Festival has changed. It no longer includes real food, but a collection of tins which will end up at the local food bank. Perhaps for the better, at least the food does not get thrown away.